everybody out there on YouTube land, Jake of the One Man Band is back again, and welcome to the 43rd Hunger Game Simulation! And my friends, we have done quite a few Disney Hunger Games. We've done Disney Princesses, we've done Disney Villains, but you know what? We, we, we've forgotten. We've forgotten a very important group of people in the Disney universe. The Disney heroes, or male counterparts of the Disney princesses. Uh, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what I'm going to name this, but essentially, that's who these guys are. So, without further ado, let's see who we have lined up. In District 1, we have Prince Florian and Maui. So Prince Florian, he's Snow White's Prince Charming, but you see Prince Charming is also the name of Cinderella's prince, and you know that Prince Florian is actually his real name, so we're just going, so there we go, I just needed to explain that. District 2, we have Prince Charming and John Smith. District 3, we have Prince Philip and Peter Pan. District Four, we have Quasimodo and Hercules. From District Five, we have Simba and Kovu. From District Six, we have Li Shen and Milo Thatch. From District Seven, we have Prince Eric and Arthur Pendragon. From District Eight, we have Aladdin. Or can we call him Al or maybe just Din? I don't know. How about Laddie? <laughs> so uh, with Alan, we have Prince Naveen as well. From District Nine, we have Tarzan and Kristoff. District 10, we have Phoebus and the Beast. From District 11, we have Sora and Rey. And from District 12, we have Hans and Flynn Rider. Or Eugene, whichever you want to refer to him to. All right, my friends. It's time to choose your three tributes. And oh my gosh, I never thought this would be so difficult. I don't know who to choose. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with Flynn Rider because I love Tangled and I just love his character so much. Quasimodo, because damn it, I love Hunchback of Notre Dame and Quasimodo is awesome and oh my gosh, it's so difficult. I don't know who else to choose. I think I gotta go with Beast. I have to go with the Beast. Okay, so it's my three are Flynn Rider, Quasimodo, and the Beast. Man, there's so many cool characters here. Alrighty, let us proceed to the bloodbath. Let's see what happens. As the tribute stand on their podiums, the horn sounds, and it begins. Prince Philip finds Sora hiding in the cornucopia, but Sora kills him like a boss. Prince Philip, you may have freaking defeated a dragon, but Sora, he freaking has a keyblade, man. You can't beat the keyblade, man. Prince Florian takes a handful of throwing knives. Quasimodo runs away from the cornucopia. Kovu and Li Shen fight for a bag. Li Shen gives up and retreats. Yeah, that's a lion. You don't want to fight a lion by yourself, man. Run away. You may have fought off the Huns. Or the, the Mongols. No, it was the Huns. Yes. It was the Huns in the first one. Okay, I was confused there for a second. Yeah, but you can't fight off a uh, lion. Hans decapitates Hercules with a sword. Hans, holy crap, killing Hercules? Demigod, almost full god Hercules? Beast strangles Simba with a rope. Oh my god, this is like the bloodbathiest of the bloodbaths. Holy crap, the, the, the Disney princess princes slash heroes don't give a freaking flapjack. Naveen runs away from the cornucopia. Flynn Rider runs away from the cornucopia. Milo Thatch scares Ray away from the cornucopia. Didn't thought that'd be possible. I mean, Milo Thatch, is, he's kind of a scrapper, you know, more of a man of science. But, I mean, you know, he, he's, he's got some cojones to him. Peter Pan finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. That's not good. If he can fly and shoot people at the same time, game over, man. Kristoff finds a bag full of camping equipment. Well, that's perfect for you. You should be able to survive. Prince Eric and Arthur Pendragon both run away from the cornucopia. Aladdin takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Tarzan grabs a jar of fishing baits while John Smith grabs fishing gear. Prince Charming, Phoebus, and Maui all run away from the cornucopia. Holy crap, my friends. Such a spontaneously explosive bloodbath. 
Oh my gosh, let's see what day one has in store for us. Milo Thatch searches for firewood. Ray, John Smith, and Aladdin hunt for other tributes. Prince Florian tries to sleep through the entire day like the lazy bones he is. He's, he's emanating uh, Snow White with, you know, her eternal sleep thing. That's what he wants to do. Prince Charming sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Now, screw that. Screw that. I'm just going to be here with my glass slipper. Just doing whatever. Kovu steals from Naveen while he isn't looking. Phoebus makes a slingshot. The Beast attacks Kristoff, but he manages to escape. I mean, Kristoff, he's a pretty hardy guy. So, yeah, I think he would be able to do that. Maui and Sora hunt for their tributes. Arthur Pendragon ch chases Tarzan. Prince Eric begs Flynn Rider to kill him because he just can't take it. But he refuses, keeping Prince Eric alive. Quasimodo overhears Peter Pan and Lei Shen talking in the distance, forming some kind of plan, I'm guessing. And Hans travels to higher ground. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Only three died in the bloodbath? That seemed like a lot more, but I don't know. So Prince Philip, Hercules, and Simba have all fallen in battle. Holy crap, my friends. It's like, those are three big ones. Three big Disney prince slash heroes. That is quite the way to freaking, that's quite the way to start off. Night one, Hans taints John Smith's food, killing him like Hans would do that. You know, Hans is, 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 is Hans. He's Hans, he's Hans, come on, come on. He, he's bad, we, we don't like Hans. Quasimodo starts a fire. Beast poisoned Naveen's drink, but mistakes is for his own and dies. Beast! No! Why? Why would you be done in my poison? Freaking Beast! Dang it! That sucks! Beast is awesome and now he's dead. Aladdin and Milo Thatch talk about the tribute still alive. Phoebus sees a fire, but stays hidden. Li Shen climbs a tree to rest. Flynn Rider is awakened by nightmares. Kristoff destroys Peter Pan supplies while he is asleep. Arthur, Ray, and Prince Charming cheerfully sing songs together. Maui tries to treat his infection. Kovu, Tarzan, and Sora sleep in ships. And Prince Florian tends to Prince Eric's wounds. Them princes, they gotta stick together. Know what I mean? Alrighty, day two. Let's see what day two has for us. Naveen discovers a cave. Phoebus, Prince Charming, Li Shen, and Maui hunt for other tributes. Prince Eric, Sora, and Kovu hunt for other tributes. Aladdin and Florian hunt for other tributes. Flynn Rider and Milo Thatch hunt for other tributes. A lot of hunting, not so much killing. You're all hunting in the wrong place. Tarzan kills Peter Pan for his supplies. Yeah, go Tarzan. Freaking kill that flying boy. Me, I mean, Peter Pan was kind of a I don't know, he just kind of always seemed like a jerk to me. I was never really a fan of Peter Pan. Ray, Quasimodo, Kristoff, and Arthur hunt for their tributes, and Hans camouflages himself in the bushes. Man, with all that hunting, only one death. Only one death through all that hunting. But three cannon shots can still be heard, because from the previous night and this day, John Smith, the Beast, and Peter Pan have all fallen in battle. Beast, why did you have to go out this early? I don't understand. Beast, you are the chosen one! You are the chosen one! You have magical powers at your back! Night two. Kristoff cries himself to sleep because, you know, he doesn't have... Uh... Ah, what's his name? I Sven! Okay, I just... I couldn't remember his name! The reindeer's name for a second! Holy crap! What is wrong with me? Arthur Pendragon receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Not quite the sword in the stone, but you gotta make do. Phoebus questions his sanity, just like we all do, Phoebus. You're fine. Maui, Lei Shen, and Aladdin discuss the games of what might happen in the morning. Hans and Kofu run into each other and decide a truce for the night. Flynn Rider receives clean water from an unknown sponsor, probably from Rapunzel, I would think. Prince Florian destroys Plin Prince Charming supplies while he is asleep. I think that Prince Charming. I was the original Prince Charming around here. Quasimodo kills Milo Thatch for his supplies. Quasi, didn't think you had it in you. I mean, you're kind of a pacifist, sorta. But I mean, I, I guess Milo Thatch wouldn't be much 
<laughs> much of a threat to Quasimodo, who's probably, like, the most ripped out of all of these people, besides maybe the Beast or Maui. I mean, he rings those bells every single day. He's got to have wicked upper arm strength. Tarzan and Naveen tell stories about themselves to each other. Prince Eric lets Sora into a shelter, and Ray receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Well, okay. Not that much happened, but day three, Hans questions his sanity. You know, it's, it's quite the thing to question one's sanity. I, a lot of people do that in these games. Lee Shen tries to sleep through the entire day like a lazy bones. Come on, you're supposed to be a military commander. Come on. Come on, Lee Shen. You gotta be better than that. Prince Eric, Prince Florian, and Ray get into a fight. And Ray triumphantly kills them both, taking out two of the most well-known Disney princes. Holy crap, we gotta watch out for this kid. He, he means business. Kovu goes hunting. Of course he would. He's a lion. But that's the lioness's job to do the hunting. Come on, Kovu. You're better than that. Aladdin travels to higher ground. Naveen steals from Maui while he isn't looking. Quite the feat, Naveen. Quite the feat. Maui's kind of a big guy and very observant. So, I mean, good, good on you, man. Arthur hunts for other tributes. Sora explores the arena. Quasimodo camouflages himself in the bushes. Tarzan receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Phoebus sprains his ankle while running away from Prince Charming. Kristoff tries to sleep through the entire day like a lazy bones. Kristoff, you're supposed to be like, don't you have ice to collect? You can't be sleeping through the day. And Flynn Rider constructs a shack. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Three is kind of like the par number. It's been three, three, three for the past three days. <gasps> triple threes, my friend. Triple threes! Triple threes! I don't know what that means, but triple threes! That means it's all gonna kick off soon, I bet. Milo Thatch, Prince Eric, and Prince Florian have all fallen in battle. Milo Thatch, you're probably the most underrated of all of these guys. Atlantis, Lost Empire, one of the best Disney movies. One of my favorites. Alrighty. Night three, Phoebus attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Arthur and Hans sleep in shifts. Kuru, Kovu receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Not sure how he's going to use it. He's a lion, but I mean, you never know. Prince Charming, Kristoff, Sora, and Li Shen sleep in shifts. Naveen is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Aw, Prince Naveen, he's all cold. Flynn Rider screams for help. Tarzan attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Quasimodo and Rey tell stories about themselves to each other. Aladdin receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Well, thank God the street rat finally got himself some food. He's probably starving. And Maui received fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Very good. I mean, is his unknown sponsor like the uh, Polynesian um, like gods? Is that it? I don't know. Could, could be anybody. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while. Day four. Quasimodo camouflages himself in the bushes. Quasimodo seems to be, like, avoiding conflict now. I think that's good. That's good for Quasi. Aladdin explores the arena. Sora, Kovu, Tarzan, Prince Charming, and Hans hunt for other tributes. Rey makes a wooden spear. Maui severely slices Flynn Rider with a sword. No! Flynn Rider, no! Don't die! Why? Uh, I mean, I could just... I don't think Maui would use a sword. He probably just has a giant fish hook and just slash! Just slices Flynn Rider. Why? Of Rapunzel! Medic! We need your Healy hair powers! Come here! You gotta fix your dude! Dang, man, that sucks. I love Flynn Rider. Kristoff makes a slingshot. Li Shen injures himself. Phoebus decapitates Arthur with a sword. It would be hilarious if it was the sword that Arthur had, you know, from the Sword on the Stone. Phoebus is just like, no, it's mine now. Decapitate. You are dead now, you small stick of a child. You're dead. And Naveen discovers a cave. Naveen discovering a lot of caves. He likes caves. Oh, it's been broken. It's now two instead of three. Flynn Rider and Arthur Pendragon both fallen in battle. Never really liked the Sword of the Stone. I always uh, found it kind of boring, but Tangled I love. Its music is good, its acting is good, the jokes are good, characters are good. It's just, it's just good. 
Way better than Frozen, in my opinion. Night four, Kovu passes out from exhaustion. Aw, oh, that must suck. Maui, Naveen, Phoebus, and Tarzan sleep in shifts. Aladdin questions his sanity. You guys gotta stop questioning your sanity. It's already gone! You've entered this game, it's already gone. Kristoff bashes Hans and <laughs> against Rock several times. It's poetic justice, because they're from the same movie. <laughs> it's, they're kind of rivals in the sense that they're, they're both love interests to one of the main characters. That is that is funny. That is definitely funny to see. Kristoff just, just Dang, Kristoff, you scared me. Prince Charming is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Sora tries to sing himself to sleep. Lee Shen receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Aw, Quasimodo cries himself to sleep. Now I'm sad. Quasimodo, don't be sad. It's gonna be okay. Ray tries to sleep, sing himself to sleep. Yeah, sure, because, I mean, singing makes your brain work, keeps you awake. So, I mean, whatever. Prince Charming receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Day 5 has begun, by the way. Kristoff, Tarzan, Phoebus, and Sora hunt for other tributes. Aladdin! Sorry. Had a yawn there. Aladdin discovers a river. Ray overpowers Lei Shen, killing him! How is he getting so many kills? How? You overpowered the military man, Li Shen. That is incredible. Holy crap. He might just be... Ray just might be the... The... Uh, like, the underdog here. That's gonna end up winning this thing. Maui sprains his ankle while running away from Quasimodo. Yeah, that's right. You better run. Quasimodo knows how to kill all y'all. Just gonna ring the bells until your eardrums pop. Kovu makes a wooden spear. Not sure how! But he finds a way. Naveen camouflages himself in the bushes. You know, he's taken... He's taken some advice from Quasimodo there. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Hans and Lei Shen both fall in battle. Hans, he's from Frozen. I mean, he's okay as a villain, but... His whole reasoning for being a villain is just kind of... Out there. It's not really known. Lei Shen, however... Awesome. Awesome character. From... And he's from Mulan, which is one of, like, the best Disney movies, in my opinion. One of the most underrated ones, at least. Alrighty, night five. Maui questions his sanity. No, not you too, Maui. You're fine, okay? What can I say except you're sane? That was terrible. I should just not do that again. Ray is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Aladdin receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Probably the genie. I would guess. Prince Charming receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Naveen loses sight of where he is. Phoebus starts a fire. Tarzan unknowingly eats toxic berries. Tarzan, you're supposed to be king of the jungle. You're supposed to know these things. Dang, man, Tarzan, why do you have to go do that? Kristoff convinces Sora to snuggle with him, and Quasimodo and Kovu sleep in shifts. Alrighty. Now, day six. Sora steals from Maui while he isn't looking. Phoebus fishes. Aladdin kills Ray while he's resting. Aladdin coming up, killing the underdog who may have just won this whole thing while he's resting. He just bided his time. That sneaky Aladdin sne street rat guy. Kristoff scares Kovu off. Naveen and Prince Charming split up and search for resources. And Quasimodo travels to higher ground. You know, because he's used to living in, in um, Notre Dame. So he wants to be really high so that he can see everything. You know, Quasimodo is a really, really smart guy. <gasps> an arena event! Arena event! We got an arena event! Alrighty. Wolf mutts are let loose into the arena. We got wolves, my friends! We got wolves! Gotta be careful. Sora survives. Prince Charming knocks out... Knocks Phoebus out and leaves him for the wolf mutts. No, Phoebus! Oh, dang it. Kristoff is eaten by wolf mutts. K Kovu is crushed by a back of wolf mutts. He was probably trying to fight them off raw, like he's a lion. He probably, like, killed maybe two or three, but there's just too many of them. Naveen survives. As Maui and Aladdin fight, a pack of wolf mutts show up and kill them both! 
Holy crap! Freaking both Maui and Aladdin? I guess Maui couldn't transform into his eagle form and fly away. He was just too far gone. And Aladdin, well, he's been running a lot in his life, but he just couldn't outrun those dogs. And Quasimodo survives, because, you know, he's on the high ground. He has the high ground! He has the advantage! Proceed. Seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Tarzan, Ray, Phoebus, Kristoff, Kovu, Maui, and Aladdin all fallen in battle. Holy crap, that is quite the thing. We have four, 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 four tributes left. Let's see who ends up being our victor. Quasimodo repeatedly stabs Naveen to death with scythes. Yeah, Quasimodo! I mean, not the whole killing part, but you're surviving. That's good. Sora receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, and Prince Charming accidentally <laughs> steps on a landmine. Oh, Prince Charming, you should have watched where you were stepping. I know you're a good dancer, but let's just say you hypothetically stepped on the girl's feet, and it blew up in your face, quite literally. Man, poor Prince Charming. I wonder who set that landmine. Alrighty, let's see, day seven. It's down to the two. Let's see who it is. Quasimodo pushes Sora off. A cliff during a knife fight! Yeah! Quasimodo! Quasi! Woo! That means that with Naveen, Prince Charming, and Sora all fallen in battle, our last tribute and our victor is Quasimodo from District 4. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah! I chose a winner! And it's Quasimodo of all people, man. Let this just show that... The Hunchback of Notre Dame is one of the best Disney movies. One of the best Disney movies of its time. You guys should all go watch it. I might go watch it right now. Because we're just so excited. So happy that Quasimodo ended up winning. But alright, my friends. That's going to conclude the 43rd Hunger Games simulation. And I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. So... Be sure to like and favorite if you've enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you feel inclined to. And I'll see you guys next time I'm out there in YouTube land. I'll see you then.